What's up Springs Kids, it's Pastor Tim. I wanna say welcome back to Springs Kids Online. We're glad that you are joining in with us today. I wanna to give a huge shout out to all the kids that went back to school this week. If you are in your living room, if you're with somebody, give them a high five, give yourself a pat on the back if you're all by yourself. But we're glad that you guys are back in school. We believe God is gonna do something awesome through you to touch the world around you this year. I wanna let you guys know about a couple things coming up. This coming Sunday, August the 22nd, is Gem and Fossil Mining. We are going to be having an awesome time right here in our kids' sanctuary, mining for gems, digging through hardened clay to find gems and fossils. We want you to invite a friend on out for this awesome event. Also, right at the end of our month, we have a family fun day. This is an event for little kids, big kids, all the way through to our parents. We are having family fun night at Get Air. It is the ultimate trampoline park, and we would love to see you out there for family fun night on August the 29th. I got my Bible, and I'm going to read you guys a verse that I think is really cool and talks about our lesson and what God wants to do in our hearts through this school year as well as right now in this moment as we get ready to jump into our Bible story. Psalm 91 says this, Whoever rests in the shadow of the Most High God will be kept safe by the mighty one. Verse two, I will say this about the Lord. He is my place of safety. He is like a fort to me. That identifies with me because I love building forts as a kid. When I was a little kid, I built the little tent ones. I built them with blankets in my living room. When I got bigger, I went out in the woods behind my parents' house. I built some big forts. We all need a place of safety and God is that place where we are safe. And we're gonna be talking about that today. It finishes up saying, he is my God and I trust in him. So whatever, however your week went, we can trust in God. He is our place of safety. Would you stand up? We're going to worship God together and then jump into our lesson. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. that you're chasing after me makes me want to run to where you are God you make this journey worth it I give you all my heart when I don't know what to do you help me figure it out God I run to you when I need a solution I have no doubt
Everybody, it's me, Haley. I thought today we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you could see some of the perils of my profession. You've been warned, danger awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're gonna need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungles of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave, and I kinda missed that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. So, here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But, I learned my lesson. Look. Two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says, caution, poison ivy. So I took the longer path and you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. <laughs> then later I got to the ancient ruins. There's a sign that says, warning, falling snakes. So guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you'll find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life too. A lesson I have already learned on my many, 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 many Peruvian adventures. <laughs> all right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru, but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye! The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22:3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop. To take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead, do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says, playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future, but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step, act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. 
Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious looking website. It could be a friend you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous, or at least you know when something might be dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to do something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous, don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. Stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do, or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble. Maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. Ah! Oh! It's not funny. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. <laughs> that looks real, right? It totally looks real. <laughs> I'll see you next time. What a great reminder that we need to run away from danger and run to God. I was just talking to someone the other day about the difference between religion and relationship. And religion says that when you get into trouble, you need to run away from your father. But relationship says, man, I got into trouble. I need to run to my dad. We have a heavenly father that is always there for us. Even when we do fall into danger, we can call upon God. But God's word is our roadmap. It is a sign for us. And I want to ask you guys, I want to challenge you guys to realize that wisdom is following God's word. It's following the signs that keep us away from danger. God's got a good plan for you. God wants to make you happy following his will and his word. And I just want to pray for you guys right now as we close this time. God, I pray that you would be with my friends. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would give them a great uh, new week of school. God, I thank you for what you are doing in their hearts, God, how you are teaching us to dig deep and to find wisdom that you have supplied for us through your word and through the power of your Holy Spirit speaking to us. I pray that you would touch every single student on the other side of the screen today. Bless them real good. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.